Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome for Friday, the 14th of September. What's going on, guys? Good to see you. Michael, Donna, look at that. George, Neil, Steve, Amy, Ken, how you doing? Grant. All right. Listen, so a very, I want to make an announcement. There is a very big special day coming up. And I would have to say, I might have to share this with Ken, which is my birthday is coming up next week also on the 18th of September. So I just want to remind everyone, you know, gifts always appreciated to thank you. <laughs> just kidding. Just wanted to kind of just remind everybody, looking forward to that date. It's funny because every time we usually, when I do it, I always have my on-site, but we moved our on-site event uh, in September going into October. So I figure uh, that was it. Yeah, lucky 18. That's what it is, Amy. Lucky 18. And it's also on Yom Kippur, so it makes it even a bigger day for, uh, uh, I know it's a very popular number in the Jewish religion too. But uh, well, thank you very much, Lita. Yep. All right. So happy birthday to you. And it's great to always share our birthdays with everyone. Best, uh, best day of the year. Anyway, let's get right into it, guys. Let's talk about the NIO. Um, first of all, uh, NIO has been a phenomenal winner for all of us. Um, I, we just did a tweet regarding about the NIO. I want to bring it up. Um, this is my Twitter page, and I just want to kind of show you. We just tweeted this right here. You guys probably want to look at it, but um, these are everyone who made money on it. You could see that we traded the stock. And it was, you know, I tweeted it early in the morning. It was basically when I, you know, a stock that we kept looking at it. You could see all the great winners who did really well. Dave G made two bucks on a buck. Uh, Lita made 47 cents. Bob made 40 cents. Fernando, 47. Ron made a buck 25. Benito with Fausto, he made about 750 on the swing. All right, thanks, Benito, for that. Looks like Benito's running with me. Yeah, I still have it. Let me just bring it over here. Um, I held the swing trade right now. I know it's getting it's getting beat up right now, but you know what? I, I, I got a forty eight hundred dollar profit on this account, and then I got another thousand on my other accounts. But uh, it was looking pretty nice this morning. I held it for the overnight because it was just so damn strong. There's some things that you learn here at CTU, you know what we focus on. But uh, it was as high as like fourteen. I'm like, oh my god! Listen, this thing is a level five stock. So you got to be really, really, really careful with it. All right, Amy, you made money on it too. Ken made two fifty. Listen, I try to get as many names as we can up there. I wasn't in charge of that, but we kind of want to share it everyone to show exactly what we're doing and making sure. Because people always say, "Ah, you guys don't make money doing this," or "How did you find it and all this stuff?" I'm like, "Hey, this is what we do all day." But anyway, this stock is going to be very, very volatile. Very volatile. And uh, that's the big thing you got to focus on. You got to be really careful with this NI, uh, the NIO. Um, I mean, it was a great story. I was reading up on it. Great story uh, regarding about trying to compete with Tesla. It's a, a Chinese, a Chinese company. Uh, you know, but listen, you like the Chinese, you hate the Chinese, you think it's competing against. America. Listen, at the end of the day, we're here to make money. That's what's all that matters. I'm just a little disappointed right now. It's dropping because. You know, if it if it if it it's got a listen, we got no it's got to hold right around around the eleven fifties, but uh, it's got some nasty shakes. So be 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 prepared for it. Anyway, Chinese food is good, Ken. It sure is. All right. Anyway, there are a couple of the stocks that are moving this morning. I do want to go out there and bring them up. Okay, it's just not the NIO. There's a lot of them that did move, but before we do that, you know, there were a couple of um, really nice movers. First of all, the T L R Y was a great move yesterday. Uh, you could see that was one. Listen, you know what? Could N, could NIO be another TLRY? Well, it could. It's an IPO. So, But it is backing off. I know some of you guys did really well on it yesterday. Just want to big a big shout out. Steve N made $15 trading TLRY. Let's get TLRY. Let's give him a big round of applause. Way to go, Steve. Couple of the big ones that we had that was also moving GNC, a really nice level one stock. You could see that one from three dollars to three eighty. That one did really well. The CGC was also great short. Which, by the way, I put it back on my short list. What an unbelievable short! Stock was down ten dollars. I know some of you guys did really well on that one. And the AMD, just everywhere. AMD was a lot of fun. Stock's been a great swing trade. But once again, you could also do the short on that too. And there you go. You can see how that one worked out pretty well too. So great moves across the board with all these stocks. We did really, really well. Now it is Friday, guys. Now remember, we know about Fridays. 
Um, you know, a lot, a lot of people don't like to come out with news going over the weekend, you know, um, so you usually will get some, some form of a movement. We do have a couple of stocks. Um, actually, I got a few of them, but let's not get too cocky like we did yesterday. We did great yesterday in a lot of positions. And, um, you know, so once again, we don't want to, you know, when you hit those home runs, like the CGC or the TLRY, the NIO, and once you start getting used to making, you know, $1,000, $4,000 a day, you know, you make it. And if you're that two, $300 trader, $500 trader, doesn't mean now you start focusing, trying to hit the big home runs. Listen, if you always thought you're going to go in front of the, in front of, in front of the plate and try to hit a home run, you're going to strike out more than you're going to win. So just, fo listen, it's going to happen. I told you guys when you became a student at Cyber Training University, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when you're going to get into these positions because we do it all the time, okay? Some of you probably sitting there saying, oh, I missed it, the TLRY. Well, you know what? There was an NIL. There was also an ELFIN. We, we do this all, we do this every single, you get about two, three of these a month. So if you missed it, the NIO, don't worry about it. There's going to be another one in the next couple of days. We get them all the time. So please be patient. But I know you guys can do better. Yeah, dry Ken, why you gotta bring that up again? I hate that stock dryers, please. D R Y S. Okay, just for you. I never haven't looked at it ever since. D R Y S. Where is it now? I haven't looked at it in, in months. Yeah, there you go. Hate that stock. <laughs> All right. So let's go through a couple of things fast. So I am short today. You know, the, the trend is it's it's starting to go up. I wouldn't screw around too much with Amy with, with AMD right now. I would focus on some other stocks. Um, AMD had a really, really good push, went up very, very fast. You know, right now, Amy, I know you just started out with CTU and you're a little bit more of a beginner. I wouldn't recommend you trade it. It's a little, it's a little fast. All right, there's other stocks out there we're going to trade that we're going to do a lot better on, okay? But let, let's see how it goes when it opens up. A couple other ones, like I told you, the CGC, this one, I would probably feel a little more comfortable shorting because of the trend. That's the only reason why, Amy. But this one had a big rally from 25 to 55. Looks like it's going to probably test the support levels right around the 40, which looks like it's doing. Uh, TLRY is on my watch list again. You know, that thing, probably, I don't know, I was looking at this big shorts, uh, big program trading on that one. Could be a huge uh, algo short squeeze on that one. So keep an eye on that one. A couple of ones I did bring up earlier. The MGM, I don't know, if for some reason it showed up on my radar. Uh, I know there was something, uh, wind was up a little bit. I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know. Keep an eye on it. I don't know what happened, but it looks like it started to make a little bit of a comeback. I don't know. Maybe not. AMD's already on there. PDD. That was awesome. Okay. PDD. That one was one of probably the nicest one that we trade. That was a lot better than INO, uh, um, NIO yesterday. That one, a lot of us did really, really well on that trade. That thing just went up really nice. I would like to keep an eye on it because, you know, it, the way it moved yesterday, I know a lot of us got out of it. And you could see, good thing you did, because you could buy it back cheaper. But I want to see how it goes. That one was pretty cool. This is a typical stock that we trade. You could see how it had that big spike in the morning. This is where we make most of our money. You come back at 2.30. You got the 3 o'clock, 3.30 move. Boom, you're done. Stock goes from 27 to 30. I know you guys did awesome on that trade. So I'm putting that back on my watch list. CHKE is another one that came up on my watch list. A little cheap little stock right here, up 26%. Keep an eye on that uh, uh, Cherokee Inc. I mean, that looks like it's got some good volatility, good movement, cheap little stock. Uh, spreads a little big right now, but let's see how she opens up. But this could be a nice little level one stock for a lot of you. Uh, YI. Okay, I want to keep an eye on this one. Another IPO came out. You know we're killing with IPOs, right? So keep an eye on this, uh, this uh, YI. It, it, it opened up about two days ago and really didn't go anywhere. And you know... I don't know, maybe it's another, it could be another, could be another NIO, it could be another TLRY. A lot of people maybe spilling their money into something else, but let's keep an eye on this IO, another IPO, hasn't really moved yet. And we did with Sono, Sono, the speaker company. So um, let's see what happens with this one. I'm putting this on my watch list. A couple of nice shorts going on, and we all know whatever goes up, comes down twice as fast. NNBR, look at this baby, this one taking a huge hit. See if she's on your short list, this one keeps breaking lower lows. Only concern, guys, this is one of those five cent spread stocks. Okay, so you gotta remember, you gotta learn how to, if you're one of our scalping students, you know exactly how, how to trade these. So be very careful with that five cent spread right there. This one looks great on the short. And the PGTI, 
It's another one that came up on my radar as a short. It looks like it's building a little bit of a nice little Fausto flag. Once again, another five cents spread. So we got a couple of good, pretty, pretty good, uh, good shorts. I think I like the shorts, trading the shorts more than long so far this morning. But once again, we are we are swing trading the NIO, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. Ben says the E Z uh what was that the E W Z trade? You got a little good movement there. Uh, it's got good spread, good volume. Looks like it's holding some support levels after taking a hit. I'll keep. I'll, I, I would throw that in there. This is the Brazilian ETFs. You know, the ETFs were doing pretty good the other day. They kind of slowed down. I don't know what's up with that, but let's keep an eye on that one. But good, he made about 20 cents. Give him a round of applause. All right. See, it's funny. We all make our money in pre-market. Isn't that great? A lot of this could be done right now and, and take off the rest of the weekend. All right, so guys, so uh, listen. Great day so far. Great day yesterday. We killed it, but don't get too cocky because today is Friday. I uh, just want to congratulate all of you guys for being here and, and, and who did who did really well on the uh, NIO trade. I put that on a Twitter feed. Go out there, share it with your friends. You know, um, retweet it. You know, but uh, you should be proud of it. You work very hard to get there, and you know, and hopefully everybody gets to realize that <laughs> you want to make money, you got to be a cyber trader. You know, right? <laughs> is that great? All right, guys, listen, good luck, everybody. If I don't see you in the afternoon meeting, see you first thing Monday morning, all right? Congrats, guys, good work so far. Let's do it again.